I am so excited you're here to learn about nutrition for the thyroid and the nutrients that play a really big part in thyroid production and conversion, utilization, all the fun things. So keep watching this video and let's talk thyroid. If you've been diagnosed with thyroid conditions and you're like, I want to take care of this naturally, game on. I absolutely love this. We love working with thyroid because there is so much to unpack here in diet and lifestyle. But in this video, I want to talk to you about the nutrients that really play a role in thyroid production, conversion, how we utilize it through the body. This all makes such a big difference because vitamins are the very foundational building block to hormones. And when we don't have these things, as you will see, as we talk about this in the video, you'll be like, wow, no wonder why I can't make thyroid hormone if I don't have that. So first things first, let's talk tyrosine. Tyrosine is an amino acid and tyrosine combines with iodine. I kind of already hinted my next one I was gonna mention, iodine. But tyrosine is like literally the foundation to thyroid hormone. So you need tyrosine. Now deficiencies are rare in tyrosine and usually supplementation is not needed because you can get these from animal proteins as what they are rich in. So meats and chickens and eggs, etc. So tyrosine is number one. And I'll go on to number two, which is that iodine. Iodine is the second part of thyroid hormone. Tyrosine, iodine, best friends, thyroid hormone. And the best places you're gonna find iodine are things like seaweed, um, some seafood, and certain salt as well. So make sure you are getting some iodine there. Iron deficiency is also a really important part of thyroid production because it helps different steps in the thyroid process, but it helps bring together iodine and tyrosine that we just talked about. So if you're not having enough iron in your diet and you have an anemia issue, then this is a nutrient that you need to take more seriously because it does play a really big part. And your animal proteins like red meat, the ones that are high in iron, is going to be the most ideal type of food to raise iron levels in the body. The next nutrient is selenium. Selenium is also a very, very powerful antioxidant. So it keeps oxidative stress in check and it protects the thyroid gland enormously. So we love selenium for that. But selenium also plays a role in converting T4, which is an active thyroid hormone to T3, which is your active thyroid hormone. So you need to make sure that this conversion is optimal from T4 to T3 and selenium helps you do just that. Also in thyroid autoimmune patients, they find that the antioxidant properties, again, are really protective. So it's really beneficial for a thyroid autoimmune cases. Of course, this is not individualized for you. You may be different, even though you have autoimmune thyroid, you may not need it. Just kind of depends on the person, which is why we are big fans of bioindividuality here in our practice. The next nutrient is gonna be zinc because zinc also has that same property. It helps with that conversion of T4 to T3. This is huge. And it also helps your thyroid hormone bind to the cell because we can have all the hormone floating around in our blood as we want, but if it's not sticking to the cell, and that's where all the party happens. That's where all the good feelings of thyroid hormone we get is in our cell. We need to make sure that it's attaching to the receptor on the cell so it can be best friend. So thank you, Zinc, for that. Now, if you have thyroid issues, you might be running right now to a store near you or to Amazon saying, perfect, I will get all of these nutrients. Please don't do that because you are an individual and while all of these play a part in thyroid production, conversion, utilization, we need to make sure that this is the nutrient that you need specifically. This is why we're getting away from the Facebook um, comparison of, but it worked for Sally. Well, you are not Sally. And so what works for them may not work for you. Please get your nutrients tested. This is a huge reason why we do micronutrient testing inside of our practice because we wanna know your levels. What do you actually need? How can we best support you without DIYing and guessing. So if you are ready to stop DIYing and guessing, make sure to go to the link in the description that will take you to our work with us page to book a free 15 minute call with me so I can learn more about you. We can kind of set up a game plan, see if micronutrient testing is going to be beneficial for you. Other aspects as well that you might not be thinking of if you're struggling with thyroid. So go ahead, reach out to us for the link in the description and we are looking so forward to talking to you.